All right, so, um, so I'll tell you two things. First of all, the highest compliment I can give anyone is that they're an implementer, okay? And Kepin is an absolute 100% implementer. Ready, fire, aim, baby. Okay, that's the approach. The second thing, and this is just by way of regret, I'm, I'm actually sorry that Kepin couldn't be here. We did find a twin of his that has a beard, okay? So Kepin's twin. Come on, Kepin, come on up here. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Kepin's twin, everyone. <laughs> wow. A year ago, just about today, I was sitting right where you were. And I went up to Mike Candies and said, Mike, I've got a message that will change the world, 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 right? Echo for effect. And instead of laughing at me, he said, okay, good job. When you get it published, let me know, and I'll send it out to my list. And for the record, he did. So thank you, Mike. There we are. Yeah. So I was sitting right where you were, and I had a manuscript in my hand. I had no idea how to make it an actual product. So I met a gentleman by the name of Everett O'Keefe. Hello, Everett. He took my manuscript and made it into an actual book. He got it launched and made it an Amazon bestseller. So there we are, Amazon bestseller, Elevate the Ultimate Life Success Formula. It was a bestseller in the personal growth and inspiration. It was endorsed by Brian Tracy, who said this warm, wonderful book will inspire you to achieve the greatness within you. There we are, top five, it was a hot new release. We're sharing the screen there with Eckhart Tolle. Right below that is Earl Nightingale on The Secret. We were on our way up, got to share the screen with Lori Grenier from The Shark Tank, Darren Hardy from Success Magazine, all the way up. So there we are, woohoo! It was fantastic, right? Yeah. It was definitely a phenomenal day that I will not forget. Now what? <laughs> what do I do now? How do I, how do, where do I go from here? Some of you may have already written a best-selling book. Congratulations. Some of you may have a manuscript. And some of you just may have an idea in your head that's so blossoming for a book. For a book. So here's the questions we need to be asking ourselves. One, how can my book help me? Two, what does having a book do for me? And three, how does having a book help me close deals? So I'm going to attempt to answer that, okay? These are my top five reasons to have a book. Perception and credibility, hands down, number one. We'll spend some time on that one. Authentic connection, larger market access, personal accomplishment, and legacy. So are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Perception and credibility. There is a tremendous amount of admiration towards authors in our society. Right? Have you noticed that? When your prospects know that you're an author, or better yet, a best-selling author, they're thinking, whoa, you wrote a book? You must be really smart. You must be famous. You must really have your stuff together. I'm impressed. I want to be like that too. I want to be like you. I want to do business with somebody I want to be like. End of talk, right? Perception and credibility, hands down. When it comes to your website and social media, when you have a book and a best-selling book, you get to have pictures of that along with people you've met along the way. There's myself and my wife with John Asaroff. There's us on the set of Channel 4. There's Kevin Harrington from the Shark Tank and the world-famous Ed Rush and Mike Keenings. You guys know those guys? There's me with Bill Phillips doing a little gun show there. <laughs> you get to use all that. It helps with perception and credibility. Biographies and marketing material. Once you become a best-selling author, you can now put that in your bio. That's impressive. Best-selling author, John Doe, right? That's impressive. You get to use it in all of your material. Lastly, new introductions. You tell me what sounds better. You meet somebody at a party, and you say, hey, what do you do? And they ask you, and you say, oh, I'm an internet marketer. I help people with podcasting, right? That's impressive. But how does this sound? Hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm an internet marketer. I help people with podcasting, and now actually I'm a best-selling author. That conversation is going to go farther, isn't it? It absolutely does. So perception and credibility is my number one reason to have a book. Number two, authentic connection. Some of you may have written a book that will change the world, and others may have an industry-specific book like How to Gain More Clients Through Podcasting, for example. 
Whatever your topic is, I would encourage you to write at least one chapter about you. Write it about you. Write it about your challenges. Write about your struggles. Write about what you're still challenged by. Write about your likes, your dislikes. Write about your reason, your why for actually writing the book. Because when a prospect sees that, they say, wow, I've got a sincere, authentic connection with this person. Right? And you guys know as well as I do, as soon as you have a sincere, authentic connection, the next question is, where do I sign? Right? That's the next question. You can also have a big social impact when it comes to authentic connection. My wife and I were at a party at my friend's house about a year ago, and he had just bought my book and loved it, and he said, oh, this is a great book. I'm going to put it on my coffee table right in the middle of the living room. So we were the first ones to the party, and here's my book right in the middle of the living room on the coffee table. And I'm thinking to myself, you need to hide that book. And I didn't want to say anything, but I was embarrassed. It was new. Here's my big mug on the, on, the, on the cover there, and I didn't really know how to take it. But you know what? That's when it really, really hit me. Having a book opens up a tremendous amount of authentic connection as I had conversations with people. So here's your, here's your hint on this one. The next time you're at a party, just walk in like this and put your book on the coffee table, okay? <laughs> it works. It absolutely works. Larger market access. Guys, having a book opens up doors. It just gives you bigger venues. You know, if you're a speaker, for example, being a best-selling author widely opens up your venues for different speaking engagements. You know, here I am right now, right here, sharing the stage with some big dogs in our industry. You know, that's really exciting to me. This is an honor. So that would not have happened if I hadn't written a best-selling book. That could be you. Opportunities are never missed, right? You may have heard this quote. They're simply taken by somebody else, right? Take the opportunity. Having a book is a clear differentiator between you and your competition. It is a clear, distinctive advantage for you in the marketplace. Personal accomplishment. I love this picture. This is now my favorite picture. It feels good to write a book, right? It feels good to complete what you've started. It feels good to say, I'm going to do it, and you actually do it, doesn't it? Some of you, I'm among many best-selling authors here, that feels good, right? Good personal accomplishment. You know, we will always be able to say, I am the author of a best-selling book. That feels good. Matter of fact, I'd like us all to do this together. Say, I'm the author of a best-selling book. Ready? I am the author of a best-selling book. Mmm, doesn't that feel good? Does that make you feel confident? That same confidence is the same confidence and feeling you can take into presentations with your prospects. How about legacy? Guys, it's time to kick ass and make a difference. Yes, some people's entire lives are in one book. That can be your legacy. That can go from generation to generation long after you're gone. You know, I personally have two sons, fabulous boys, and I have no doubt that both of them will be authors. I hope best-selling authors. They think that that's normal. As a matter of fact, I was tucking my youngest in last night, eight years old, and he goes, Dad, when you talk tomorrow, will you tell him about my book I'm writing about jokes? And I said, sure, I'll, I'll tell him about that. And he goes, Dad, use this joke. He loves pigs. And he said, what happened to the pig when he crossed the road and didn't look? And he said, the answer was, he got pork chopped. Okay, that was a little funnier if you have kids, but that, I thought that was pretty good. So what is your legacy, right? What is your legacy? What is your message to the world, 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 echo for effect? Can I take a minute and share with you my personal pride and joy? Is that okay? Okay. Hey guys, this is the reason I do what I do. This, this is my personal pride and joy, okay? Oh, jeez. Jesse, I'm so sorry. Okay, I, sorry, I thought I took that slide out. Hold on. Okay, this is my personal pride and joy. My beautiful wife, Jennifer, my two sons, Jay and Carson. That is why I do what I certainly do. So in summary, guys, the five reasons that I wrote my book that I didn't realize until after I wrote it was one perception and credibility, authentic connection, larger market access, personal accomplishment, and legacy. So 
I believe Ed Rush is, is backstage right now, but do you remember when I said that my book was endorsed by Brian Tracy? At the beginning, yeah. Raise your hand real quick if you know who Brian Tracy is. Okay, of course, right? He's definitely a mentor of mine, an absolute godfather and pioneer of the self-development industry. Well, I was able to get that endorsement through an introduction from Ed Rush. And I asked Ed about it, and he says, you know, sure, I'll, I'll be happy to introduce you. And Brian Tracy's words were, Ed Rush is a great guy. That was, that was his words. And I want to put Ed on the spot just a little bit. When you guys saw that video that I shot, that was about a year ago, I hadn't started my consulting with Ed yet. And I tell you what, through his consulting, I've gotten crystal clear clarity on how to use my book, but also how to leverage my existing client base to go to the next, next, next level. Okay? I already have a seven-figure business. I, I've been blessed with that. But what his consulting has been able to do is go to the next level for me. And I, I guess what I'm here to say is this. If you get the chance to work with Ed Rush, take it. Okay? This is me being sincerely serious with you right now. If you want more time freedom, if you want more money freedom, and you're the type of person who will take action on what is suggested to you, then my suggestion would be Ed Rush is a great guy and you will get results. You know, for, for me personally, I like working with authentic, successful, strong character people. Right? That's me. And for those of you who know Ed Rush, you know I just explained him to AT. So, Ed, wherever you are, I'm sorry, but uh, I could not get off the stage without sharing what my experience has been with him. Okay. All right. Be courageous. Live up to your potential. Be fulfilled. You really can have what you want. I know that. Guys, I am living proof of that. We, we live in the greatest country in the world. We can be, do, and have what we want here. That's exciting. That's called freedom. And that's a gift. Yeah, that is awesome. Just from sitting here right now, you're improving yourselves, you're improving your business. I mean, my hat's off to you. That is where it starts. You know, I can tell you from example, that is where it starts. You are the ones, well, we, okay, we are the ones that make it happen. We are the ones that go after our dreams, as we are the ones that go after what we want. We are the ones that make people smile, and we are the ones that go for it. So, in summary, speaking of going for it, by the way, just by being here, you've shown you're a person of action. So I would invite you to be consistent with that. That's where the fruit is. All the fruit really is out on the limb. All right? Love this time. Thank you for having me. God bless you guys. Keep smiling. Thank you. All right. Stand right there. All right. All right. Come on here.